to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for well, good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this fine morning? I'm getting up early, like I told you guys yesterday. Yeah, and look what it is doing. It is raining, yeah. That kind of sucks, but yeah, well, I guess it's gotta rain once in a while too, eh? But let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day no matter what. That's right. I talked about this a few times. It's all about your attitude, right? <laughs> so let's put a smile on and say we're going to have a good day and then we're going to have a good day, right? This is the last day on our journey to get home. So let's go home happy. That's right. So let's get out of here. And uh, thanks for joining me. And stay tuned for the rest of the day. Well, the sun has finally come up, guys. And we are just sitting back and relaxing, cruising along here on the highway I-29 northbound. Yeah, it was raining pretty hard there uh, when I left that truck stop. But it has slowed down. It's just drizzling here now every once in a while, you know. But other than that, we're just giving her. We're just cruising along, like I said. We will be in uh, Fargo here in about two hours. And we'll probably stop in there in Fargo, North Dakota. Probably go have me a bite to eat. And we'll see. I'm thinking about maybe doing another live show. Although for you guys that are watching it today, it would have happened seven days ago. I uh, keep forgetting to mention this every once in a while that I, I, I got to remember this every once in a while. I do have new subscribers and not everybody knows that I'm seven days behind. And uh, I just figured I'd throw that out there for you guys again. So that way you know I'm seven days behind. And I do that for multiple reasons. One reason is I don't always have internet in every area, every place I'm at. So it's kind of difficult to upload it for the next day or at the same day, whatever you want to call it. And the other uh, reason I... Uh, oh man, I got a phone call there, so I guess we'll see you guys a little bit later. I am coming into the area of Fargo, North Dakota, yeah. Sorry about that earlier, I got cut off there by a phone call. And here we go, now we are coming in towards Fargo like I said. And it's still raining, but that's okay. We are going to make a pit stop there in uh, Fargo. I'll probably go to the Love's truck stop up there. And I'll have my uh, half an hour mandatory break that we truckers have to take. Now give me a chance to do take care of some business. Yeah, so we're we're Speed about 13 minutes to 11. And it's only like two and a half, two and three quarter hours to the border. So we're only about three and a half to three and three quarter hours from home. So, so if we stop there at 11, yeah, we could probably be home about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Everything goes according to plan. That would be awesome if I could do that. Yeah. I just wish it would stop raining or drizzling or whatever you want to call it. But hey, that's the way it goes, I guess. Yep. Here we go. This is the exit coming up over here. Where we want to take our exit. Actually, there's a Volvo dealer right here. I'm sort of thinking maybe I go in there, but I don't know. 
Maybe not. We'll see. I just got ideas sometimes, you know. Anyways, we'll go ahead and take this exit over here and we'll go to the logs. And I'm hoping that you guys will like this new angle of my camera. Yeah. I figured I'd try something a little different, you know, so that way it gives you the whole view of my uh, my cabin here a little bit, you know. I figure I'd try something new, you know. Always got to change things up a little bit to make it more interesting for you guys. 32nd Avenue South. Construction ahead. At least that's my goal all the time, to make it interesting for you guys. Not always successful Turn with right. it, but we definitely try, right? That is right. We definitely try, but... Yeah, there we go, now we got the green light. Tomorrow I will be bringing my truck away to my... Uh, well, maybe not the regular mechanic there, but uh, to Integrity Shop, they are supposed to finish off my safety, my truck, so hopefully we will finally be done with our safety there after tomorrow. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-29 South, US 81 South. Yeah, I know RJ is screaming at me. He doesn't like the way I'm going. Construction ahead. I didn't set it to go to this truck stop, so he's trying to reroute me to go home, right? Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. I'm just staying in the left lane up here because I want to go to the loves. I don't want to go to the flying J. Yeah. This is actually a uh, brand new Loves that they built here in Fargo. This one has only been here probably no more than a year or a year and a half. Yeah, it never used to be up here, but now it is. Now it is. Yeah, like a McDonald's and a Subway in there. They have two restaurants in there. Which I guess you can consider fast food restaurants, but uh, I kind of like Subway though, I, I really ahead. do. Although I don't think that I'm going to be eating in there today or if then at least not at Subway. I'm kind of feeling like for McDonald's today, we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, we'll catch you guys in a little while. Here we go guys. It is time to get out of Fargo. Yeah. This Love's truck stop is a little bit of a tight one, but uh, hey, a lot of truck stops are tight, right? I just finished uh, doing another live show. So for those of you that are watching this next week, you will uh, know exactly where I was at because you watched this show on live stream. And if you didn't watch it live, I guess too bad for you, but uh, couldn't have, you could have asked me all kinds of stuff while I was on the live show there, but you will still get the opportunity to watch it uh, Construction once ahead. it's done processing through uh, the right YouTube on. processor. South. And the reason why it does that, it, it wants to uh, it wants to make sure YouTube wants to make sure that uh, I don't have copyright material in there, right? That's the reason why they want to, uh, and it says process, but really what it is, it's actually checking for copyright material, which I generally don't have on there, so. In a quarter of a mile. Especially not on a live show, right? right? I-29 North. Yeah, so we're gonna go take this I-29 North. Yeah, that's the only way we can go to go home. Actually, it seems to be uh, clearing off a little bit. It, it was a little more foggy earlier and all that stuff. But, man, I can't believe how cheap the fuel is. There at the Flying J, it's like 245 In 600 feet, take the entrance or 239, to the right I guess, if you have the right card. 
but yeah let's get out of Fargo and then we'll see you guys down the road somewhere or you will see me somewhere whichever way it works for many of you guys this area probably is starting to look familiar yeah and that is we are in Pemina North Dakota right now we are just on the south side of the border of Canada but we will be entering Canada here in a very short time yeah looks like uh, Let's have a look and see if there is a long line up to the border, but almost looks like it. But can't quite tell just yet. What we'll find out here in a minute or two. Yeah. But we already had a little bit of sunshine here a, a little while ago. Has dissipated again, but at least it's not raining anymore. That's that's a good thing, you know. But it is not raining anymore. I'm happy about that. It's going to be a good day. We all know it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just happy I can go home for the weekend, you know. I really am. I got a couple of things going on there this weekend. Probably some barbecue happening this weekend. But anyways, we're going to have to cut the video. Because we don't want to get in trouble from the border. So Speed I guess we will ahead. see you guys on the other side. Here we go guys. We are in Canada. Yeah. That was an easy border crossing again today. Oh yeah. We love it. We are in my home country. Home state or province. Whatever you want to call it. We are home sweet home. Just got to do about another hour and 15 minutes and we will be pulling into our yard at Steinbach, Manitoba. Unless something goes wrong. That's right. Very, very excited. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Have me an awesome weekend off. I'm planning to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Yep. And we'll have to see what kind of videos we'll come up with, but I'm sure there's going to be some barbecue videos in it. Yeah, I think so. But anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's get home ASAP. You know what that means? As soon as possible. Yeah. I am in Steinbach, Manitoba. Yes, sorry, Bob. That's for sure. I'm just going to go cruise over to our mechanic and I want to go get me a new belt tensioner. The mechanic said the other day that now they do have it in stock. So I'm going to go scoop over there and pick me up that belt tensioner and then uh, go home and put it on myself. Alright, no, it's not uh, noisy anymore but if you listened to the uh, last uh, couple of videos of mine, you would have heard uh, some kind of squealing noise and that's been going on over the last two weeks and got the bearings replaced there already on that belt tensioner but it still doesn't seem to fix it so we'll just have to try and get a brand new belt tensioner and hopefully that will fix it and they got this whole section under construction up here by Canadian Tire up here in Steinbach They've been working on this here all summer long. I thought it was going to be done by now, but I guess not. I guess not. Oh, they put new asphalt down. That's that's a good sign. But it should be done here soon. Eh, not quite yet, I guess. But anyways, let's go scoop over there, and then uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, we are just on the last little stretch of going home, and look at these trees looks nothing like louisiana i guarantee you that all the leaves are starting to turn yellow that means fall is in the store that means pretty soon all these leaves will be gone we won't see any more green stuff oh, oh well <laughs> that's the way it goes fall comes and goes that's right
this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls that 